This is the 2024 Lexus UX 250H and it is effectively the smallest crossover you can buy from Lexus in North America. And I say North America because other markets like Europe get an even smaller one, the LBX, but we don't have it here. The UX is now only available in a hybrid, which is the 250H. Soon it will be replaced by the 2025 UX 300H, which will have a bit more power. For now though, this 2024 model makes a combined 181 horsepower and a known torque, but individually the 2.0 liter naturally aspirated VVT Atkinson cycle engine makes 150 horsepower and 140 pound-feet of torque. The front electric motor makes another 107 horsepower and 149 pound-feet of torque. And there's a second electric motor in the back which has undisclosed specs. So nobody really knows what it makes altogether, really. However, zero to 100 kilometers an hour takes 9.6 seconds, and zero to 60 miles per hour comes in 8.9 seconds, which is basically a good number. I mean, this is not supposed to be a fast car, but it's not really slow either. It has adequate power, and it all goes to the wheels through an eCVT transmission that is very smooth and very annoying because of the soundtrack, however, most of the time you can't really hear anything because this car is rather quiet. It does have simulated gears, so it has six simulated gears, but it's really dreadful, just pretend I never said that. The self-charging hybrid drive enjoys coasting and regenerating energy, which it stores in a nickel metal hybrid battery with a capacity of just over one kilowatt hour. The hybrid system works very seamlessly. I mean, it's very transparent to what happens. You have this energy monitor, which funny enough, doesn't show the rear motor, but it does show how everything else happens. And honestly, how everything goes in and out, on and off. You can barely feel anything. It's very nice. It's a fourth generation hybrid synergy drive thing. So it's not the latest, it's the fifth generation, but it's really good still. And nothing really feels weird. The steering has really nice feel. The brake pedal, which usually suffers in these circumstances, also feels just fine. So driving this thing is nothing but buttery smooth. Fuel requirements are also low. It uses regular grade gasoline and it only uses about 6.8 liters for every 100 kilometers it travels, which is fantastic for running costs. The UX is also available as a fully electric vehicle in Europe, which is the UX 300E. But again, in North America, we don't get that. It is a very good looking crossover. I love the design language. It's in line with the rest of the Lexus lineup. It is compact and it's not a shame to show it. It also has a few nice colors, like this very metallic green. It's so sparkly, I love this color. On the inside, the design is as modern as it needs to be. The quality of the materials is what you would expect for the price point, and the fit and finish is what you'd expect for a Lexus. The luxury trim level is the one you should go for because it keeps the price reasonable, while it gets you all the equipment you really need, and it also keeps the car very comfortable, which is the whole point of this vehicle. You get heated and ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, a very good infotainment system that supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it connects every time, it's very nice. It's very easy to use, it has a pretty good backup camera. The instrument cluster is a combination of analog instruments and digital screens. Again, it's pretty nice looking. For 2025, it's gonna be completely digital, but this one still includes all the information you need. You also have a pretty nice heads up display. You get driving assistance. You get a very good sound system, a basic sunroof, blind spot monitors, and of course, adaptive cruise with lane keep assist. The driving position is really nice. I got comfortable right away. The seating position is uh, very easily adjustable. You got memory seats. Visibility is pretty nice. I have no blind spots really. And up here, I have enough space for all my stuff, cup holders, wireless charger, USB ports, Everything is fine up here. You even have a little button for EV mode so you can lock into the battery. However, you can only do that up to 25 or 30 kilometers an hour. So not really quickly, maybe like in parking lots and stuff. Now, roominess in the back seat is a completely different story. Passengers that try to go to the back, first of all, have to get through a pretty narrow door. Then they have to find where to put their legs because legroom is really tight. Headroom is a bit better. They do get USB ports and vents, but they have no door bin. So their stuff has nowhere to go. The trunk also isn't the largest in the world. It's pretty small actually. And because it's small and short, the tonneau cover is flexible. It's like fabric. So when you put larger items, it's able to close. 
There is some extra storage underneath the floor, but not much once again. Needless to say, this vehicle is not for families or for people that utilize the back seat very frequently. But that's pretty much all the negatives regarding this vehicle because other than that, it's a very smooth roller. It's very quiet most of the time. The long suspension travel takes care of most bumps, so it's very comfortable on the road. However, when the roads get twisty, well, body roll signifies that you're pushing too hard. It does lean, so you do need to back off. You need to remember that this car has been built for comfort, especially in the luxury trim level. It does grip pretty well. The grip limits are pretty high. However, the vehicle does not enjoy being pushed to the limit. It is a luxury urban vehicle that's meant to be fuel efficient, good looking, comfortable and reliable. And keeping those targets in mind, it scores big time. Prices in Canada start at $42,300. This one as tested with the luxury package is at $47,100. So overall score is eight out of 10. And the only drawback is that it has a very specific audience due to its limited practicality. So that's pretty much it with the 2024 Lexus UX 250H. Remember, the 25 will be a 300H. It'll have more power. Hopefully, it's going to be as fuel efficient as this. Nice little car. Really nice, actually. So for somebody that wants a tiny, luxurious, and efficient vehicle, 100% a top pick. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends. Most importantly, till next time, be well. Bye bye. Perfect. Thank you.